Why not try and get some underwater footage of this? That's pretty legit. Oh, that's a fish! Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Northwest Fishing Secrets. We are in the camper van, finally, again, and we're going on a three-day, uh, like, winter van camping trip and fishing trip out in eastern Washington. We're driving to the furthest, most remote, remote corner uh, of our state. Let's get the heck out there. I'm like just absolutely just uh, burning up inside and I've been wanting to go out there and uh, try this kind of fishing for just absolutely too long. So I'm super excited. So we're just doing a little gas break in a small desert town and um, I swapped paint with a pole. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> just hit that darn pole over there with my van. I know everyone thinks it's just a yellow van, but I, it's a multicolor. Check it out. There's a little bit. We left some yellow too. So um, I just this pole was just. I wanted to paint it yellow. All right, guys, I just had to pull over here real quick. This is absolutely insane what I'm staring at. Look at this. I don't want to like step right up to the, the edge there, but I mean, come on, <laughs> look at this. The amount of just diversity and beauty and nature that Washington has is just out of this world, guys. I mean, seriously, it's just right behind me there. This is like my backyard, you know? This is two hours from my house. <laughs> The whole ride out here was absolutely gorgeous. There's no way that I can show you how beautiful it was with a video. Um, it, but I promise you one thing, we're gonna be out here in Eastern Washington more often because it's just absolutely amazing here. This is the beautiful side of the state. Okay, and we're walking on the ice now. We are, I think we're officially on ice. I don't know how thick the ice is, so I'm gonna listen for cracking. I see them out there. So I know there's already two humans, two adults standing on the ice. But I'm a heavy guy. I'm like 210 pounds. So I'm always afraid with zip lining or any activity that uh, even if others go first, I could still get killed. Looks like snowmobiles have been out here too. So it's it's looking okay. Oh man, I totally forgot my rod and everything. That's how oh, I, together all I am. It's all good. Samong. Samong, nice yeah. to meet you, man. Yeah, I'm nice live. Nice to meet you. Live. Good Dude, to meet you. I am... So stoked Dude. to be out here with you guys right now. Andrew. Andrew, nice to meet you, man. I'm live. It's been kind of inconsistent. So all day we just kind of been trying Just to trying different you. holes and all over the place. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. That's pretty much all we're doing. Okay, so you got one of those little indicators there. Yeah, next So it's 40 feet deep, but the fish are sitting at 15? Yeah. Interesting. Like there's my jig. Okay, that's and then the you'll jig. See ya mark about the same a red mark come beneath it or above it and you just reel up to it or let it down below and just work the fish actually god it's the... that's a little higher in the column and then this way is lower yeah so it's actually there would be the bottom that's the bottom got it yeah guys i don't know if you can tell here in the video i'm seeing just little blips um but andrew's explained that cameras don't pick this up very well uh, based on the shutter speed but this year, what is this called? This is a Vexlar. So what this does is it shows you the uh, where your lure is, where the bottom is, and uh, then potentially you can see fish show up on it as well. All right, guys, so there's a lot of learning here that we got to do. <laughs> okay, so if you guys don't know who this is, some of you might absolutely recognize him here, okay? This is Samong, uh, and his channel is what Samong Yang Outdoors. Yeah. So I know that we do a lot of Western Washington fishing together, but if you guys have watched Eastern Washington fishing videos, odds are it's probably been a video of his. Uh, he does a lot of hunting as well. I'm gonna get like two days of fishing in uh, together. 
and then uh, maybe on the third day on the way home we'll hit another spot or something so this will be a little eastern washington series but like i said um i'll just leave obviously the uh links to his channel so since i got here late they already pre-drilled all the holes but it wouldn't be ice fishing if i didn't suffer through drilling my own first ice hole and the ice is luckily over a foot thick but also unfortunately over a foot thick because it's a, a little hand crank i've already got a perfectly good hole right here but we're just gonna drill another one right next to it. Cause what I'm thinking is I'll try and get a camera down there. Maybe, maybe we'll get some underwater footage. Oh wait, so I hold this straight and then just, that ah, works. This is fun. <laughs> On the first one, right? <laughs> Whoa, there we go. Oh. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. And then we just, what, hand pick it out or? I have a scoop right here. Well, I mean, you could use your hands, but I don't like cold hands. I don't know about you. So this is the smart way of doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. All right. This is cool. Like ice fishing, there's a lot to learn here. A lot of little tools, techniques, an ice scooper. I think I've seen this in other YouTube videos. Other people using little ice scoopers. Funny watching everyone else doing ice fishing on YouTube here lately has just been like, they got me all the more excited to be out here. All right, those are two uh, clean ice holes. That's a GoPro? Yeah, <laughs> I've got a GoPro down there. Yeah, so I'm like, why not try and get some underwater footage of this? That's pretty legit. Uh, I, I used to do so much underwater footage on like my salmon videos and stuff, but I've totally slacked on it. Now I just wanted to show you real quick what we're gonna throw on this line. It's a little little miniature version of the bullet lure. If you guys have seen that video, uh, that I uploaded that a few weeks ago of catching this these monster trout in Eastern Washington. And one of them was caught on a homemade bullet lure that I made out of a nine millimeter, showed how the lure was made. Epic video if you guys haven't seen that already. But uh, I made a miniature version now of a little tiny 25 ACP. I figured that'd be a perfect little ice fishing jig uh, here for these trout. So uh, I'm just gonna tie it on to the, directly onto the main line with an improved clinch knot, nothing fancy. I just like to grab the little, little tags, put them in your pocket. All right, so what we're gonna do now is just attach. I've got just a, the tail tip of a night crawler that we're gonna throw onto the hook here. There we go. That'll just add a little bit of scent to it if a trout gets really close and is indecisive. Uh, the lure itself and that little silver flashy, uh, that blade there is gonna attract the fish and the noise it'll make, but then that worm should entice them to a bite. And that's coming from a guy who's never ice fished before. So let's see what happens. All right, guys, here goes the first dip. We're gonna lower this little worm tipped bullet lure. Oh, it looks good, look at that. If I were a trout, I would go right for it. We're gonna lower it down. We're just gonna go to the bottom and then come up maybe a few feet. And then um, Andrew was saying, we'll work our way up the water column. Oh, we're at the bottom guys. We're at the bottom. Okay, well, let's just jig at the bottom for a second and see what happens down there. Man, as someone who's never done this before, this is the most bizarre thing. <laughs> it's like this little hole. <laughs> I've never fished into a little hole like that before. <laughs> All I'm doing, seriously, is just what I've seen in other YouTube videos. Just tiny amounts of jigging, just moving it a little bit. I think when you're ice fishing, if you make big movements, you might scare the fish off more. So I'm just trying to make that little blade on that lure flutter just a little bit. Fish on! <laughs> Fish on. Dude, this is such a, dude, this is such a pretty fish. Oh, that's a, that's a keeper all day long, man. Yep, that's, that's probably the biggest fish of the day. That is, I saw that rod bend over, man. That was looking good. He hit it like seven different times. Oh, he kept hitting it, yeah, huh? Yeah, he, he would hit it, but it would never be hard enough to like, you know, get a good hook set on him. Wow. And then finally just 
gorgeous yeah. color on him. He's so he's super dark, super dark, and yeah. just but not like you know nasty dark or yeah. something. It's just, it's just more like a beautiful vibrant, dark. beautiful dark. All right, that's pretty cool. We they're they're biting right now. I gotta I gotta pull this off. He's kicking my butt. Both of them are kicking my butt. That's the most bizarre thing. We are sitting on some ice in front of little holes. It looks like a little outhouse holes, and we're pulling fish out of them. All right, so they're saying that the fish are actually pretty high up at the ice, which they did say earlier. Uh, I just instinctually wanted to start at the bottom, but I'll probably just start working my way up. Oh, man, that's crazy. I just felt the ice crack. It was like a jolt through the ice and a deep sound. You could feel it. Oh, that's a fish. Oh no. Oh, we lost him. <laughs> oh, we had one. I thought I felt a bite and, um, oh, dang. Okay. Well, they're biting. Oh he, yeah. He came off. He didn't feel very big guys. He felt really small. Oh, I just realized maybe we got footage of him on the underwater camera. Oh no. Then at least we can see what it was if if, if uh, we got the footage. Do you set the hook pretty good or just more evenly just reel up? Uh, I, I set it. You set it pretty hard. I, yeah, I just set it. Whatever I have, I just give it to him. Okay, we're gonna just we're gonna just yank it, guys. We're gonna. We're, th this fish is coming flying out of that hole. There's flying fish in this lake. They just didn't know it yet. But we got a fish here, guys. I just I felt a double bump. Oh, there it was again. Take it. Take it, come on. I felt one bump. Oh, oh there it is. Drop there it there. is, yeah. Yeah, drop down to it. Just oh, okay, so out. then just let some line out. Yeah, you want to drop down to about 15. Right there, no stop. Good. He's looking at it. He's, He's looking at it. He's looking at it. Oh, that's... What a tease. Stopping short. See something he doesn't like. It'd probably oh, be oh, there. Funny. He comes. Oh. He's not even looking at the J. He's just looking at the GoPro. Oh, oh, oh I had a bite. <laughs> bite. They, Dang. If they always ask me, does Andrew guide? I'm like, he should. <laughs> he, he, he would make a good guide. Oh, that's a fish. Oh yeah. Fish on, baby. Oh. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> yes! Oh, he came off. There we go. All right, guys, check out this fish here. It's no monster by any means, okay? But this right here means so much to me because it's my very first fish caught on ice, like ice fishing, which is something that I've been wanting to do since being a little kid. It's always been very intimidating because it just seems it's been very foreign to me. In Germany, where I grew up, that's not a thing that we do over there, not that I know of. This is, I'm so grateful to be out doing this kind of stuff because it's just literally knocking off bucket list items, that stuff that you've dreamt of forever. So this lake has no minimum size, so we're going to keep the fish either way, um, and we're going to cook them tonight. But uh, we're going to go ahead and just bonk this fish real quick, put him out of his misery, and uh, keep fishing, maybe get something bigger. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you for the cooking part. All right, so Samong and I, we parked down at the Columbia River. I mean, I could throw a rock in the river right now, but uh, let's check out how we're going to cook that trout. The reason that we're parked down at the Columbia right now is because we're actually going to camp here and uh, sleep in our cars. And then tomorrow morning, we're going out on another fishing adventure uh, that should hopefully be next week's episode, which is going to be fishing for burbot and walleye. Both of them are species that I've never personally caught before. All right, to season this trout, all we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with just a little bit of olive oil that will drizzle on. I don't really have a bowl or anything to do this in, so I'm just gonna do it in my hands. 
We'll sprinkle on just a little bit of, of course, my Danish sea salt, guys. You know that by now. Now, when I'm seasoning trout, I like to get the uh, seasonings on the inside too, especially when we're cooking the whole fish. Then one seasoning that I've totally fallen in love with is this, uh, it's just McCormick's uh, Chipotle Roasted Garlic. This stuff goes really, really good on trout, guys. It's, I don't know, I've had it on a few other things, but trout is just, that's a winner right there. So I'll throw on a little bit of that, throw some inside. All right, and then we're just gonna throw this baby on the grill. We want to get down there and fish, so I'm just like, I'm trying to get the, the coals just hot enough to cook this trout. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm not going to lie. That was a pain in the butt to get this trout cooked. It just, I, I, I totally did not use enough charcoal. Anyways, it looks perfect now. Check it out. Nice grilled trout. Uh, the cool thing, if you've never cooked trout like that, is it's super easy. You just pull out the, uh, the fins. I like to actually just pull out a little. A little bit of that meat. Oh, it's good. And I like to eat my uh, trout with the skin. Uh, maybe you guys can have a poll in the comments again on who wins, eat it with the skin or without. Do you want any of this at all, or are you good? Oh, no, I'm good. You're, you're all good? Okay, cool. I just thought I'd still offer. <laughs> all right, so let's dig into this trout, and then Samong and I, we're going we're gonna to fish. It's good. It tastes good. Might be slightly undercooked on the inside, but... <laughs> to me this fish means a lot that's the first fish i've ever caught out of the ice so it's so rewarding like i'm we're starving i mean um that's why we're making some chili over there too uh we've been just yeah freezing out in the cold and now it's just absolutely freezing here we're gonna do some burbot fishing at night before we film another video tomorrow catching walleye and burbot <laughs> i just caught my first burbot check him out that is such a bizarre fish um, so yeah, like I said, if you guys are brand new to the channel and enjoy this kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe. Um, uh, of course, smash the like button if you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, it helps with that YouTube algorithm. And I'm just going to keep it short and simple, guys. 2020 is going to be a really interesting year. We're going to show some awesome fishing uh, that you guys are going to enjoy. So anyways, guys, you know it. We'll see you next week. Fish on!